It's uh, so wonderful to be back in the beautiful, this beautiful city of Dublin, and UL is again very proud to support and co-organize this seventh annual conference alongside and behalf of our partners, Interpol and the Angarda Shokana. We're also honored to have the opportunity to join together once again in this unique and collaborative forum to advance our common purpose of defeating organized IP crime and promoting safety worldwide. Thank you first to uh, Mr. Ronald K. Noble, Interpol Secretary General, and Mr. Martin Callanan, the Commissioner of the Angarda Shokana, for coming together to make this conference possible. Without you, we would not be here today. Thank you also to uh, Mr. Derek Byrne, the Assistant Commissioner of the Angarda Shokana, for serving as moderator, a role that he uh, shared at the 2009 conference with Judge Ronald Liu, who is also in attendance with us this morning. And uh, th a special thank you as well to Mr. Ku Boon Wee, the uh, past president of Interpol, who's joined us this morning, although he has a new job as a senior deputy secretary, minister of home affairs in Singapore, uh, director of the Institute of Leadership in Organization Deve and Development, and a senior fellow in the Civil Service College. So, Mr. Ku, thank you very much. And he also uh, served tirelessly to moderate, uh, I think, the last two conferences, and we very much appreciate it. It made an enormous difference. Uh, this conference has grown steadily since the first uh, conference in Niagara Falls in 2007, when Brian bet his job that someone would come. <laughs> and uh, it's grown significantly since the time we met here in Dublin in 2009. Every year since then, the conference continues to work together and the conference organizing committee works together in order to design and implement innovative tools and to expand capability to defeat transnational organized IP crime. However, for every solution that's developed, it seems that the criminals also continue to evolve and implement their own strategies to match, or in many cases, defeat national countermeasures. It seems that there is no end to human imagination and creativity, even when it's applied to criminal ends. This cat and mouse battle seems to be looped in a perpetual cycle, and in many cases, the counterfeiters have a clear advantage because they do not need to respect laws, rules, or national boundaries, and increasingly they are networked globally as transnational organized crime organizations. If we are to stay ahead of these globalized and adaptive profiteers and succeed in our public safety mission, we must remain vigilant, we must remain networked together, and we must continuously seek out new and innovative solutions to meet their ever-shifting threats. I believe that this conference is one of the most critically important anti-counterfeiting tools that we currently possess to meet this challenge and to ensure that we protect consumers, economies, businesses, and workers around the world. The theme of this year's conference is borderless enforcement, empowering those who combat transnational organized crime through training. Training is something dear to me. We have a, a, a big commitment at UL to spend 2% of our revenue every year on internal training. And training is the one way we can develop our capabilities and our organizations to pursue our mission, whether it's fighting crime or, or pursuing public safety. I believe that education is the first and most important cornerstone in constructing a strong foundation to build capacity in both public and private sector organizations, equipping frontline defenders with the requisite knowledge and expertise to defeat transnational criminals, which will ultimately protect the public from dangerous counterfeit goods. In addition to the exciting speaker lineup, we're very pleased to announce and highlight three training initiatives. First is the recently launched multilingual learning management system for the International IP Crime Investigators College, which Commissioner Callanan referenced. Currently, there are 14 modules being offered in Arabic, French, English, and Spanish, 
with Mandarin courses being launched later this year. UL is a proud sponsor of the IP Crime Investigators College in partnership with Interpol and has been an active participant in this leading edge training resource since its beginning. The college and the new platform is being featured during the conference and I encourage you to visit their display to learn more about this great training opportunity which is being offered absolutely free to all law enforcement worldwide. The second training platform launching this week is the new Honest and Real Anti-Counterfeiting Educational Program. As was promised at last year's conference in Panama, UL and Disney have worked together in cooperation with Interpol to launch this initiative which is aimed at teaching what it means to have good character and the challenges to having good character, including illegally downloading music and buying stolen or counterfeit uh, pro uh, goods aimed at primary school children. This new multilingual tool is part of the award-winning Safety Smart program that was developed in partnership with the Walt Disney Company. Honest and Real will be featured during this conference, in fact, uh, just immediately after lunch, and I encourage you to visit their display to learn how you can make this a part of your program and make the most of this exciting opportunity. And I do want to thank Mr. Dave Bosser, who is here from Disney and who is a creative genius behind this and many other programs, who's made this program real. The third project that will be featured and launched today is a private sector e-learning initiative that, will, that incorporates counterfeit product training by rights holders, which can be utilized by law enforcement agencies around the world. These specialized modules will be available online 24-7 through the IP Crime College and can be utilized to support and facilitate the identification and removal of counterfeit goods from the stream of commerce. This is another relevant example of how the college is working towards designing and undertaking public-private partnerships to support the global effort to defeat counterfeiting and piracy crimes. Please visit the IP Crime College booth to learn more about this exciting new initiative. An international conference of this magnitude would simply not be possible without the hard work of our conference co-hosts, Interpol and, and the Angarda Shokana. Interpol continues his great leadership in facilitating global enforcement actions and as a major catalyst for international initiatives designed to combat transnational organized IP crime. By continually adding new elements to their programs, developing new partnerships, and implementing innovative training tools, they have fearlessly led the way and set the global standard in what we now consider effective and integrated IP crime solutions. I thank them for their dedication to making the world a safer place. Likewise, we are deeply grateful for the tremendous on-the-ground and uh, support and the dedicated support overall of the Angarda Shokana, our law enforcement co-hosts. This is the second time we have worked with our Irish colleagues, and we have been truly fortunate to have them as partners. Their professionalism and expertise have allowed us to effectively plan coordinate and deliver this event once again. I offer my sincere thanks for their assistance and their ongoing support to stem the flow of counterfeited and pirated goods. This conference presents each one of us with an opportunity to learn from our hosts and speakers, as well as the many other industry experts in attendance. We have the opportunity to make the conference even more valuable by making a meaningful contribution. By sharing our individual perspectives and ex experiences, we can help each other to better understand what works, what might work, and what may, might not work any longer. I hope everyone can take full advantage of the opportunities offered here and be an active part of this worthwhile collaboration taking place over the next few days. And our sincere thanks and appreciation must also be given to the many sponsors. Even in these financially challenging times, our sponsors continue to support this event. Every year, we count on and we receive their, their tremendous support to deliver this conference. And without their dedicated resources, we would simply not be able to deliver what has become the gold standard in global IP crime training events. 
So please acknowledge their contributions and take time to meet with them and visit their displays in the exhibit area. As a company that has long been a leader in advancing safety while enabling goods to flow in an, in an increasingly borderless world, UL will continue to do our part in providing comprehensive solutions in helping our public and private sector partners take unsafe products out of the hands of criminals and prevent them from reaching the hands of consumers. We will continue to work closely with our international stakeholders and dedicate our thought leadership and our resources to support global efforts to defeat this scourge. Finally, I would like to thank all of you for attending this conference. Your contributions and participation are what really make this the premier law enforcement conference of the year. I look forward to meet you and to speak with you over the next few days and look forward to learning from you as well. Thank you very much.